What is up, you beautiful human beings? I hope you're doing really well. Today we are doing grasp of avarice, avarice, and we are simply loading in right now. So if you don't know how to do this dungeon, it's pretty simple. You're gonna kill a bunch of enemies, as you'll see me do soon. So restoration proc, and I start killing enemies. Seven, six, 15, back to 15. Now, when you kill the hive, you're gonna get a little orb that they're gonna drop, a little engram. You're gonna pick it up, and you're gonna get a buff called Burdens of Riches. As you can see, ours is now at 10, 12, 13. And um, the Burden of Riches lasts for 30 seconds. When um, it drops down to zero, you wipe, but picking up another orb will replenish the buff. And then there's a little crystal down there in that room. And when you stay in the next to the crystal, it deposits the engrams. So that's how we get rid of them, as you saw. Now, in this encounter, you need around 50. So we're at 40 right now. Playing this quick, trying to get. Yep, and I'm just going to sit here and deposit in the crystal. Like I said, we need 50. Once 50 comes, your buff will go and the balls will disappear. Sometimes. Sometimes they might glitch. Then you're really screwed. <laughs> and yeah, there's witches too. You gotta be careful of witches sometimes. Alright, let's go. Restoration is gone right now. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. That's my armor charge. 11, 10, 9, Eight. I just wanted to do that to make sure the video is synced. So um, you can skip through most of this, as you can see I'm trying to do right now. Trying. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies. Did not notice my health was that low. So the way this will work is if I have any tips or anything, I'll just say it as we watch myself go through this video. Yeah. Now there's plenty of uh, traps in this dungeon. Um, so really, if you are going to solo flawless, I recommend just just playing with each encounter and getting to know them really well. So right in front of this door, there is a um, there's a trap, but I like to come up here and then just walk over, uh, walk beside it. Um, but there's like a little pressure plate that if you stand on. It, it screws you up a little bit. You want to jump here, you want to wait, go down and in here. This right there, that will kill you. So be careful, don't go into that trap. Don't open that, activate that module. Then the one on the far right, the one on the far right, that's the one you go into. And everything else will, some of them will kill you on the spot, some of them will push you around it. Uh, all right, let's go. That's a pressure plate on the left side there, so you want to be careful not to go into it. <laughs> Pretty much, you want to do a zigzag in all these rooms. Get the lever, zigzag in all of them back, get the lever, keep going. So. Once I have restoration proc, I don't need to. And you gotta be careful in this room, there are traps too, so there's a trap uh, in certain places. You just gotta be careful not to, you know, do anything. So right here, there's a trap on the far left right there. Um, so you just gotta be careful and keep practicing until you, until you understand where they are and stuff. Forget, don't worry about that lever checking something again so normally when I'm doing things like this you can't hear the game music I'm probably just on dim on the other screen looking at things or texting someone whatever I don't know so we get that lever and then it opens up the garage door where that streak is next to where that streaker is um yes you'll see me go through it right now That one. Yep, 
but <laughs> you don't want to miss my ammo, I really do. We're just gonna go again. Now, if you have a eager edge sword, you just gotta be careful. I'm over there, I've slowed down a little bit. If you have an eager edge sword, you can actually make the jump to the next area uh, with uh, eager skate. Um, Titans, I don't think you can. So you just gotta be careful. Maybe with a grapple and, and eager skate, you can. Yep, there's a door on the left. That one will kill you, so please be careful. I gotta remember that it's okay for me not to be quiet. Like at the end of the day, it's only if, um, as you can tell, I'm not good at that. It's only if I have tips or stuff. I don't need to like fill in the, the quietness, I guess. It almost killed me. That thing slows you down. <laughs> I, I remember because I, I jumped it and went, yeah, this isn't a good idea. Part of me. So yeah, over here you just want to again. Just don't be showing you how to do it. In each of these platforms, where the enemies are, there's a lever at their back, and then above it is like, see how it says one and two. Yep. So when I activate the lever, it will it will turn into those one or two will turn green. And then I'll go into the, the second or the first one, whichever one it was, and figure it out from there. So like one right now when i go and activate this two will open and two's on my left so it's just it just shows you which garage door is going to open All right but because i've done this so many times i just like i don't even care for it anymore i kind of just do do it now those platforms will drop as well so you gotta be careful that's the guy we want because we want that scotch cannon now with this part, tip, there's two tips. First of all, you gotta shoot and hold it until it pulses twice to open the door. Or you just shoot it three times and it'll open the door. And then you wanna walk in here because the thing's gonna fall in. Yeah, because like if you're quick, you can like, you can shoot and hold it or you can just shoot it three, four times. You can shoot it three times and it'll open the door. But you wanna be careful because you're gonna get engrams and those engrams are going to, um, you know, you want to be quick. Now here, this platform right there, yeah, I remember showing you this, yeah. If you're just running and you run past that point, it actually lifts you up and then you can have an early jump, which will kill you. So it's better to slow down in that point, make sure you're away from that area and then run and jump. Goes to the deep has the same issue with some parts. So here we're gonna make sure we are at two void and one solar. Ah. Oh, I did two void and, oh, you know what? That explains a lot. <laughs> Even I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm running Parallel Gauntlets um, and I've got two void and one uh, recoup. I'm fixing my build up. And even I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm using a void weapon. Okay. Yeah. Two void and one recuperation. And I'm use also uh, resistance to two void and one void ammo reserves. Yeah. My bad. That makes so much sense. Oh yeah, I wanted. Oh yes, that's right. I'm using bait and switch um, edge transit. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do this while while talking, so I don't remember much. I like to go to the right side here. Sometimes the ogre will attack you quickly, so that's me proking restoration again. Trying to proc restoration. I was wondering what I was using because normally I use Lament for this. So again, I just shoot it three times and I go. Now, I'm getting as much kills as I can with my weapon to proc Envious Assassin, which is going to give me more. The more kills I get, the more. Um, uh, the more. 
reserves will go into my mag. So you can end up having like 20 shots at one time. Make sure you pick up all these. Um, you want at least, for this boss, you want 25 in the crystal to activate damage phase. So it's on, if you do it correctly, you can get uh, two, two, you can get two uh, garages and that's enough for one. Now you can, if you're quick enough, do both thighs then come and dunk. I find in a flawless run, it is a lot easier to, and just less things can go wrong if you just do um, one side, then dunk the crystals, go to the next side, then dunk the crystals. Also, you can throw your, you can throw your hammer while holding the, um, yeah, so if I had, if I didn't go to the crystals, I would have been probably dead by now. So it's important to just understand that there are two ways of doing this. It's what works for you. Hmm. Make sure you get them all. Um, I think it's 14 per room, except this room might, in the beginning, will have a bit more ads in the, at the back. But yeah, as long as you have 25 at the end, you'll be fine. You can manage it yourself. So I know I was a little low, I think, but yeah, I left another guy there. You want to kill those because they do shoot at you as well during um, damage. But if you go to do damage up there and there's still crystals that you pick them up during damage, you're kind of screwed a little bit. Uh, one, two, and that's bait and switch. And as you can see, I already had a lot of a lot in the mag. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the best. Oh, what? I didn't even proc that earlier. <laughs> That makes so much sense. It's not bad. Half his health. It's not bad at all. <laughs> um, another tip is if if so, I'm in this garage right now, trying to see this ammo. If I shot the other garage and I was in there, it will close that one and it will kill me ultimately. So you want to make sure you're um, waiting for ads to come. You want to make sure you're not uh, in the garage when you open the next one. I think I missed this again. No, I got it this time. Oh, I switched it up here. Why did I switch it up? I did three void. Kind of curious why I switched. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, it's because of the damage he did to me. I was kind of scared, so I wanted. Okay, I switched it back to limit. Fair enough. In the beginning, if I went to do this again, I would immediately hit him with my hammer, and then I would hit him with power gales, and then I'll go with air transit. Yeah. So I did switch over. I think I switched over because it's just more safe for me, and I felt safer. sense i don't remember much of this run to be honest so i'm gonna find out things while you find out things as well so here you can go back and grab this bruh <laughs> yeah i just keep yeah that's the one i missed <laughs> and i just i leave it pick it up and i think my time is running low yeah, so I just run. I could have ran. Uh, I could have ran with it, but I chose not to. So I managed to make it with two seconds left. That's crazy. Six, four, two, one. Yeah, 
just important. So yeah, I mean, if you could be really quick with it, or you could just take your time. Just trying to hear it, but I missed it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that used up all the ammo. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, the run went well, the run went well, and now I'm watching a bag, and I'm like, no, it didn't really. <laughs> yeah, at that point, I think I was just really mad at it. Yeah. And I just needed to do one more anyway. Yeah, the boss's void gets really aggressive. You can do melee, I think, as well. Because he does, when the lower the boss's health goes, the more aggressive he will be. He'll go from standing there to running at you at full force. Yeah. Just leave those, because when they come to attack me, I can activate Radiancy as well. That's why I'm waiting. Like I have Restoration and things, so I'm just waiting. There you go. Yep. When you hear that noise. Sometimes the boss does an animation where he puts his hands up and stuff. But when you hear that noise, it's time to go. Awesome. Now we're going up to the sparrow part. I highly recommend if you have a sparrow, if you have the um, skimmer, to use the skimmer. If not, you're going to struggle a little bit with this part, but I'll show you also the best way that I found and a bit of some tips as we go along as well. The right one will kill you, this one won't. Activate and let's go. The skimmer helps, it just helps with everything. That was me trying to activate my skimmer. So you'll take care right here and grab that node and then start walking towards the middle. And then here you wanna, you wanna, when you're doing this with a normal skimmer, with a normal thing, you want, so I'm going straight as well. You want to pick up this node, you want to, take a t take an angle to it so like if i'm going i'm on the left i want to go right really hard and then skip left real quick that way um the enemies tend to not shoot you as much and you always want to be ready to get off your sparrow if it starts getting low and then get back on it and run yeah but with a skimmer it's a lot easier Bounce. And then over here, when you get through here, you want to dodge just before you land, just like that, because that will kill you. Yeah. And as you can see, I didn't linger in there, I didn't get, stay in there. As long as you go past it properly, um, it will, you'll go through it. Sometimes, though, if you're at the edge of a bomb site and you go to the edge of it and you go through it, it won't count. So better to just try and get in the middle. And again, it's better for you to take a hard hard right into the into the objective and a hard left into it and sometimes that will stop you from ow sometimes that will, that will stop you from getting hit but yeah with the skimming it's really easy and i think you can buy it in the store um but the i think it's no time to explain is an exotic um sparrow that you can get with it needs 250 spoils but you can um uh it, enemies tend to not shoot you as much on it so and then we have this part, which is cool. We are almost at, um, oh, sorry. So here, it's kind of the same thing. I'm over here trying to find uh, the, 
servitor. So there's an immune servitor, and when you kill him, then you pretty much put him into the um, portals like I am right now in, and then uh, you shoot him into the big thing up there, and you'll see. So I think mine's on the top right, so we're moving right now. Now, when you shoot these nodes, you'll see that I'm holding it down. It's just because I'm traveling, but if you just shoot it normally, it will um, so activate. So if your friends are on it, you can send them through, and by the time you get there, you can send yourself through. And you have a bit of time. That weapon, I think, up to three or four, and then it gets annoying. Yay. So it's the same thing. Kill enemies. Grab their engrams. I don't know how many you need for this one. I think it's a lot. I think it's like 20. 15 or 20. Maybe 25. Yeah. I find it a bit better to record and talk over it. Yes, I don't. You guys don't get my natural reaction to these things, which sucks because it's something I love to do in my videos. Is make sure it's like natural. But I just like I was doing duality, and I was going through the edits. I was editing the video, and I realized like half the stuff I say just. It does, it's not right or doesn't work properly or is wrong due to the fact that um, hold that fort. So we're going to move this guy to the bomb, to the, to the area. Biggest uh, tip I can give you is to kill him in this area, like in where the crystal is, because um, you can move him easily to the other areas. If, if you go up the different route, uh, you kind of get screwed anyway. Also, like if I went to the left route, I can screw myself. And then if I this, this can be a bit lengthy, so it's better to just get it done quickly. Also, you don't have to push him towards that. I can just, he'll roll into position. Always roll into position. Let's just shoot him into that. And the damage down. Now, yeah, when I was doing duality, I, I was... When I play and I'm thinking, right, I'll normally answer myself. Um, so I'll th ask myself something and then answer it out loud. And it just doesn't make sense. So sometimes I'm just too overwhelmed with what's going on on the screen. And then when I do speak about something or I had an idea, it also doesn't come out right. So at least this way, I can focus on the game and not have to worry about it. And then I can come over and tell you my thoughts and my, and, um, my tips and stuff as I go through it. Because it's just me. I can get overwhelmed sometimes and I can... You know, my mind can be can move quicker than my um, head. So, yeah. Big tip here too, the water is kind of lava. So in some places, the water will kill you. So better to just avoid it completely. And in the boss room, is the exact same thing. Do not touch the water. Whee. And normally, I like to run Simplicess instead of Power Girl Gauntlets. Um, but ever since they nerfed Simplicess, um, I find myself using Power Girl a bit more. And I kind of wish I knew about it when... Um, when I was, when the build was unnerfed, because that would have been pretty fun too. Yeah, Paragos is pretty good for boss damage on a Titan. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble here. Didn't know how much I needed. Um, if you know how much, put it down in the comments. That'd be great. When I have a sunspot, I'm getting restoration, and I'm also like, that's why you see me sometimes. I'll shoot. I'm also just chilling, because I have restoration, and then anything that walks in there is kind of get damaged, so I'm safe in there, you know, in my sunspots. Yeah, so I just move him here, and as you see, I didn't really push him into the position. He just rolls in there. Yeah. Make sure you don't have any burdens before you move to the next section. So I'm over here looking, looking. 
down in the top right twice. And if you are going to do this, I recommend looking at the secrets. They're actually easy to get, and then they're along your way. In this room, there's two. I think I still need to do prophecy secrets. I'm not sure. Dwelly. It's weird, because when you solo flawless it, you pretty much know the dungeon back to front when you get to a point where you actually finish the solo, the run. Uh, so you might as well learn the secrets as you go. That being said, I still need a few more to to figure out. If you ever lost and you don't know where um, um, the thing is, just follow that orange cord. We woo, yeah. Sometimes I can kill you. And it's better off for you to manage your jump. So when you go for the portal, don't jump until the end. And see, sometimes it'll hit you into a wall. Sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, you just gotta manage it a little bit better because, you know, health. <laughs> Unfortunately, you need it to survive. <laughs> Edge Transit is pretty cool. Um, the grenade launcher. I used the recent solo spire, which is actually going to be the next video I commentate on. Um, it's pretty cool. It just you just gotta make sure you know how to use it right. So I am watching out at fifteen, virgins seventeen, nineteen. But yeah, I still don't know. I think it might be 20 or 25. Hammer, powered hammer kills count as, count for restoration uh, and weapon kills. But if you get like a normal melee, that doesn't count. Even if you have burning, burning flames on. Yeah, I do think this is 20. Or 25. Again, I killed him in here, and I'm not gonna make him roll that way because it's gonna be harder to get him in the boom, push him in there, and he'll go. And now I'm picking them all up because I don't want them, I don't want to pick them up, go to the next section, start killing things, and realize I'm about to die. Don't want to do that. That's a no no. Somehow I missed that one too. And then always check to make sure it is, especially since you're going around so much. So now we have one more to go. So always make sure that the portal is facing the right direction before you shoot it. Again, it's just because if the ball goes over the edge, it doesn't go to the right place. You just got to redo the whole thing. You got to find them again and stuff. And it's a bit, it can be a bit, um, it can take so long doing this encounter. Uh, Iga Edge works really, really well. Works wonders here too. <laughs> Yay! That does a charm. <laughs> oh.
Fehlt in den Namen. So here I gotta be careful when I went the wrong way, so you know if that boat goes left there's a hole there and it'll fall. So I need to really be careful. And I know I still have burdens on me, so yeah. Just about being really well aware of that burden. The screen will go more red when you have them and more red, 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 red until it kills you. So it's just really important um to make sure you understand what's going on. Yeah, you know, and some in some places of the map it is a bit red, so that can scare you too sometimes. Yeah, sweet. So once you complete the encounter, all um, portals go towards the middle, where you are right now. Now, when you when you do this portal, it takes you to the right. I think it is. You see how it's pushing me towards the right. When you have three people on there, it can actually screw you up. So maybe just if you're with the fire team, do one at a time, or do, you know, because it's such a tight space towards the platform. So if you have two other people, you can bump into them and fall off and stuff. So that's a great way. And if you do fall off, it's okay. You just go back. So I went and looked into the video and I found out that there's a lot of solo damage and arc. So, you know, sometimes you need to go through the boss phases on YouTube and just have a look at what people, what are shooting you shooting the person and then once the person is being shot so much times then they move on then you can tell oh i'm getting arc damage and solar so i switched to the mountaintop and and lament on this one <laughs> me trying to make this jump with mountaintop uh, and I'm like, okay, no, but <laughs> all right. So biggest thing here is to make sure you take out the invisible, of uh, invisible vandal and the shank. They're going to come out of this area and you'll see that's like biggest thing you want to do here. See, I'm trying to prepare myself and I went a bit too early, but they got the majority of them. Super important. I think I got scared and I moved out of the way, but that's okay. Because the shank does so much. Those two things do so much damage to you. If you just run this dungeon without killing those guys, you're in a high, high risk of dying. Super high risk of dying. Obviously, with my mountain top, I've got root combination and auto loading, which is amazing. Because it means if I get like kills, I run out, I make recombination buff go up higher. And then I can just use it and it will do a lot of damage. You can try Outlast as well. You can try the Sniper and the Kinetics in the Energy slot. I don't know Kinetics slot. I don't remember which one it is. Pardon me. So yeah, just me checking up on things. And then I know I didn't kill the Vandal because the Vandal will drop 10 engrams and I didn't have to deal with that. And also if you pick up 10 engrams, you get your super back. So that's the reason why I use my super straight away because if I picked up 10, I would have had my super back immediately. And you know, I would have used my super on them, hurt them, Kill them, some, sometimes kill them, pick up 10 and have my super back again. So it's fine. That's actually another tip too. You can, so later in the video when we go to damage phase, you'll see me um, do a damage, you'll see me do a like cheese strat. It's not really a cheese, but you pretty much go into one platform and you stay there consistently while you pick up. So you'll see me do this exact same thing. If you use your super and you want your super back at any time in this game, you just got to go get 10 and then dunk it, 10 engrams and dunk it. I didn't tell you that in the beginning too. So here I'm holding it for listening to the cues. So that's one, two, I let go. Yeah, I didn't let go properly, but yeah, shoot. One, 
to, I can let go. Just making sure I collect it. And I'm just going here. I'm not moving anywhere else. I'm just staying in this platform, right? Enemies will eventually spawn here. So let go. And my biggest tip, so you need to get 60. But because we deposited 10, it's 50, right? That's if you do. So 60 to get to the boss phase. As you can see, I'm just shooting it and I'm just walking towards it. So if you just do this once, you get 10 and then you go along. So I'm doing this six times pretty much. And now I have my enemies. And that's it. I got enough. My highest recommendation, I didn't even do this in this one, but so on the 50th, when I pick up 50, do it one more time. And then just leave immediately. And the engrams, when they explode, will kill anything around there. So that's a really good tip to have less damage during da damage phase being done to you. So as you see, I have enemies all around me. I didn't do it. Almost died there, but we won't talk about it. Light, light, heavy. Light, light, heavy. Light, 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 light. Yeah, I didn't get all my hits out properly in this. Yeah, I did not do a good limit job on this guy. And as you can see now, I have no super as well, which is fine. But yeah, if you, sorry, I feel like I didn't make myself clear, and that's okay. If by any chance you want to get your super, you just got to collect 10 engrams and deposit them so you don't die. Once you collect 10, you'll have your super back. Right? That's all I wanted to say. And you could do that strat, get 10 real quick, deposit, come back. But again, you got to be careful if you do have these guys roaming around. Now, rockets are good for this boss as well, but I um, just like to be up close and personal at all times, to be honest. Yep. And my screen went red, so I had a quick glance to see if I had any burdens on me. Sometimes you can pick them up. The floor, the the floor is lava here too, so just be careful. I'm gonna go kill some more enemies and see if I can get um, a recombination out. I'm so scared I'll fall into water. Yeah, see, and that did a lot more damage than normal. So, yeah, mountaintop is good. It's great for move uh, movement. Um, but, like, I just wasted my whole recombination shot, you know, because I missed that. So, pros and cons with it. Too much flinch. He's going to die. You don't even have to, you just know this, wherever you aim, that that, that combination is going to go. So, I understand that's how, uh, not com wherever you aim, that missile is going to go with uh, mountaintop. So, just understand that you just got to have your aim right. I was sat my super here and I didn't even notice. Shank is down. And Shank is the only one you can, um, you can finish. So, the vendor you can't finish them. Like, you can't use your finisher on. I broke your heart. Da, 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 da. You're in the dark, and I'm the villain. I broke your heart, left it in pieces. I don't know. The song is like, it's called Villain by someone, I don't know. The shank is still there, man. Come on, get out. I thought I killed it. Yeah, I wish I realized that my super was, I would have used it on him, on the Vandal. Oh, look, I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at how I'm back. <laughs> Jumps are really important here. There's a lot of places that can just kill you with jumping and stuff. Especially my first, my first solo run of this, I 
I oh, so, died to so many jumps. I was checking to make sure I had solar damage on. Um, because I remember I switched it up, I think. Yeah, the other one anyway. I wonder if I do another phase of this. I don't remember. Yeah. As you shoot the rocket, you're supposed to be moving to the next area. Um, that's how you become super efficient. You don't need to, but that's how efficient you go. Because right now this one's broke. This one is locked, right? So I can't use it anymore. So that's the way you want to do it. You want it so that by the time you go to the next one you're okay so like now I'm walking towards this one I let go it didn't work watching that timer you can sometimes have um, no need to panic you have time but you do want to be careful so like if this doesn't work I gotta run yeah sweet yeah cool my timer was really low there so yeah, so things you want, you just want to get really comfortable with the with the encounters. I mean, we want to do better with them. And over here, I don't want to kill all the ads. I want to kill them later so I can have radiancy while I go for boss fight. You know. Yeah, I let go and it wasn't. Yeah, I think it was this one that I screwed up on a lot. Yeah, I realized that wasn't going to work and I had nothing left. So just going to proc restoration and then go to the middle and deposit. And just redo it when I have a chance to. Yeah. I've also noticed, like, now that I am... Um, I paused it, so I'm going back. Now that I am... Um, I moved and my belly hit the pause button. <laughs> now that I'm actually uh, doing this... Oh, that's a lot of damage. I should have put up my back barricade. Like, my movement's becoming a little bit better, and just understanding the way the, the dungeon is and just taking my time with it. Um. Yeah. The Scorch Cannon does leave after a while, but I think on the boss encounter, it's, it's a long time. And yeah, so, so now I'm backing into this area. Just holding on to the button to collect. I didn't need to collect a lot. Just needed 10 more anyway. So yeah, so see, I activated it. And now all the engrams just spawn around the area. When they explode, they're going to kill everything around me, around it. So there won't be as much monsters attacking me this time. And I'm ready now. Yeah, this is going to be a good phase. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, oh, yeah, I screwed up there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, one more page. Yep. Uh, I would love to practice this more with some edge transit and see what happens, personally. Also, with this dungeon, it's so hard to get ammo. Uh, I have two finders on, and I'm actually doing decent about it. Every mountain shot kill, every mountain mountain top hit, is a win for Rexy. <laughs> Yay! You can also use um, the Scorch Cannon to shoot the uh, the Shank and the Vandal. And if you use it and hold it to, it to the third tick, I think it does a lot of damage to him. 
just takes time. You know. <laughs> All right. Pop in the head. I don't think I put 10 in there, do I? No. Yep, so I didn't put 10 this round. Oh man, I was scared here, not gonna lie. Ooh! Oh. I didn't want to miss. So with the hammer, the best thing to do is uh, aim for the body, not the head, because the head things go away. The body is cool, and the legs, like lower body. Um, but sometimes with the legs, it just you know goes through the enemy, and they're like just standing there shooting you, like nothing's happened, and you're looking at them like my hammer bro just went past you. <laughs> All right, let's go. So again, just summary. Uh, be careful your jumps. Sorry for breathing in the mic. Be careful your jumps. In this one, watch out for the timer. Make sure the shank and the vandal are down before you go to damage. And then when you do this to when you're done and you're going to go to the middle, pop it one more time so you can kill the ads around you. I'm also making sure that I have my armor charges up. That's why when monsters do come, I go get... Um, I go get... Uh, I always have Radiancy and Armor Charges up, pretty much. Yep, to last the damage phase, I can get my boost. And that's why sometimes I'll leave the enemies there. I'll shoot... Um, I'll shoot my hammer, I'll leave, I'll get restoration and just let them live and then come back to them, shoot my hammer. I also know I need um, one more, I think that's why I went to the other side to collect it. Yeah, so I got a lot more than I need here. But yeah. Yep, and as you can see, so I have enough, but I'm going to just make one more run. Oh, uh, it won't work. Because um, I ran out of bullets on my on the weapon. What am I doing? I'm seeing if I can get more. This is a horrible thing. Yeah, I'm like, oh wait, 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 time. It's like, yeah, I'm playing a type, man. <laughs> Sometimes I catch myself doing things in edits. Like, what? What am I thinking? Yeah, I threw my grenade. You can always just throw your barricade as well. We used to, when we ran this with three, the last time we ran it with three, I uh, popped my, yeah, that was a horrible super. Popped my barricade, and then I had another Titan pop his barricade, and we were standing in the middle. <laughs> yep.
Give me the loot, baby. <laughs> Hope you guys learned something today. Thank you, everyone. God bless. Peace and love.